Potentially, you know, <laughs> but uh, not, not really convinced. Neon has a different way of crafting uh, compared to some like other regions, but they are very aggressive teams. This time around, I'm gonna go with them. You know, they got heavily outdrafted in game number one, still managed to pull off a victory. And uh, yeah, I think they're gonna do the same thing here. I mean, I don't lose any points if I go Neon, because we're all doing it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Prepare no, for it is, battle. It is, it is tempting, but there is a Sand King, and I, last time I doubted it, this time I won't. Even though I chose Neon in the first game, I'm going to do it again and choose Neon in game two. Yeah. Time to see game number two. Neon up against Execration. The first game was back and forth, interesting here and there. Sand King definitely giving more than I thought it would. Uh, you know, that axe finally came out, and then, oof, a little gut punch, Burrow Strikes coming in from a distance. Yeah, they won that game before the Aghanim Scepter, but you can tell yourself whatever <laughs> to have a better sleep at night, B-Cup. You just wanted to, to see it, you saw it. Uh, now it's time to probably see it again eventually. Is it going to be... 30 seconds to battle. You think anything close to the same build? Pretty much. I, I think he's just gonna go for that Blink Dagger, which he had 8 minutes in in the previous one, made a rotation, gets a kill. And what he has in a quick buy is double boots. Yep. Yeah, one. I, he's gonna need more, because this Scorpion, he has, I believe, six legs. Yep. So if he wants to go for the meme, we'll need a couple more. The six boots. I wouldn't be opposed to that build. You also need, uh, what you could do is go four boots and then two different blink daggers for your claws. Sure. Why not? Uh, they did it's not want to contest the, that rune uh, like they could potentially with the burrow strike, uh, but uh, he does not want to have it for level one. He wants to have that caustic push the lane. So sometimes it's better to get one less rune potentially but to still win the lane because the reason why you pick this sanking is to win the lane right bye bye no way trying to get some cs here for you five cost of finale got all three lanes on screen now they're gone over there and then they weren't Nico getting low on this tusk. Jean well though pops a fairy fire. He's still gonna go down for first. But VDZ get credit for that. A lot of physical damage coming out from these two heroes. Like you will need to be careful. Usually Elder Titan is the one who is pulling people out of the lane. I don't think that's gonna be this time around. Tag team. A lot of a. Uh, Physical damage coming up from level 1 thing. Unfortunately, Little Shredder does not work with the tag team, so that's a bit unfortunate. We're not in the original Snapfire patch when it did work. Brutal Strike with that Caustic. A lot of damage here on the OA. This is the pressure that mid SK puts on. It's such a satisfying sound when units die with the Caustic on. It's like when you're using Nature's Prophet ulti and you hear like ding, 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 the gold sound or anti-mage burning mana on the heroes and also hitting the range creep. For me, it's just pure ASMR. We'll roll arrow combo, but we got the ship done. We're still, still trying to get the point. Boulder smash, right clicks on a play hard. He pops a fairy fire. He's also got the heal here from RR, so it's, it was a long, drawn-out battle, but it doesn't go their way. Yeah, he did not want to get anything. Like, do I need a stun, or do I need Bayform to get out of the trouble? For a second, I thought he went for attribute shift and attribute, like plus two attribute. Uh, so I had to double check it if that's not the case. Mid lane, Yopaj. Uh, not as good as I expect against the Void Spirit. Like Yoey, he's playing this lane really well. He's got 15 CS right now. They're even. We'll see if it continues. The panel talked about the anti-combo synergy with the Draw Ranger and ET when he like removes 
the base armor. And then Draw Ranger still pierces through the base Bounty. armor, ignores it. But it's only when it pierces the marksmanship. So every single time you don't, that you're still gonna, you know, deal the full damage, pretty much. We'll have to see how that goes and what the build is going to be here for Natsumi. I have, I have like this record. Oh, he's going Ring of Aquila, I see. Raid Band plus Sage Mask. Just needs to buy Ring of Protection. Because if you had, like, in your own builds, for heroes, if you have them like saved uh, from the old patches, you can have Ring of Aquila and then you can put it in a quick buy as well. Poor man's shield. You you could do that, That's yeah. But I can't buy it, unfortunately. Unless you get it to bug out somehow. Although I, I have bugs. Yeah, because there are no bugs in this game. Zero. Um, not even Weaver, not even Nyx. Or Brew. There's not a bug. Spiders are not bugs, yeah. Does that fall under the designation of bug arachnids? I I knew you Google that. I'll I'll talk about the game. I did not watch enough of National Geographic. I did, but didn't really pay attention to all these like small details. Morphling, he's uh, doing a very good job on the top lane. Has that Morbid Mask, has heals, because this is a position 5 3 and so he's maxing out the Living Armor. And this morph will pre farm. Marana, 13 CS, something that Black mentioned. Like, with this type of lane, you're just giving him a free farm. Spinning around for CTM. And Yopash getting close to 6. Still looking at what he wants to build. Oh, Blink Dagger, wait. Boots of Travel, Bracer in there. I'll spoil that shot. Very good build. Gonna, I'm not gonna doubt any any builds anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm done being a doubter. Okay, I'll be the one. I'm very vocal about the itemization overall. But uh, yeah. on a sanking, I think it's fine. Uh, sometimes if things are not going well, where you don't get the value, out of your boots of travel, then it feels like 2,000 gold spent for nothing. So right now, they're just keeping this tri-lane Mirana jungling. And Mirana out in the jungle. This is just leaving the Morphling wide open to do whatever. Yeah, they can't touch this lane. Maybe they could have tried to put more pressure, level 1, level 2, but that's it. Like, right now, Morphling does not seem killable. Regeneration. Step action to pick up the regen. And this is similar to the start I, I would say Neon had in the last game. Because they were up like 6 7 nothing. But the game was still sitting close regardless of the fact that the kills were in favor of Neon. Really does not feel like CTM can touch this more, but. He's just here to try and get some gold, which he will with that arrow. Oh, that, that's what it stands. Can't touch morph, CTM. Gotcha. It, you don't do anything. Like, you, you can't pressure him. He's going to be full HP all the time. Morbid man. Farm both jungle and the lane, bottom lane. Over on to Nico. They've got the sleep. The rotation over from Yoe. We'll try to get the kill here. Keep the remnant and the little Shredder shreds right through play hard. Astral step back, John. While trying to do the damage onto BDZ, needs one more right click. He pops the fairy fire, but he won't sur survive that. Well, this is good for Marana. Sanking deep it out. She's like, yeah, I'll get out of the jungle and uh, collect some XP and free CS on the mid lane. Manages to miss a range creep because of the miss. Attack uphill. Draw Ranger needs to be six. Like, she's a bit under level for this uh, time of the game. At least she has a decent amount of farm 33 CS, uh, 12 denies, has a power threads, and the rape band. So, once she hits level six, it's gonna be a ton of damage Radiant's coming up from the Draw Ranger. Under attack. Drow. Would have liked to see a little bit of a better start if you're Neon. 35 and 12 to the Morphling's. 49 and 17. Definitely not as open of a lane. I mean, there was just four heroes down there. And this is very, 
concerning if you're rooting for Neon as Kalos just is wide open. And like you said, can't touch more. He's level seven. Drow still working on that six. Get to that stage. They will need to rotate Sanking, potentially with Marana ulti, and try to kill this Morphling, surprise him with the Burrow Strike. Bottom Our lane, Januel looks that pretty dead. Yeah, Burrow Shredder, Snowball all coming in with the Fire Snap Cookie. BDZ gets the kill. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Creation still leading and making bot really disruptive. Titan for the second time. Drow Ranger found a really good item. Possessed Mask, so there's going to be some extra agility, a bit of a lifesteal. Going into Dragonlance. Dragonlance got a buff and works well, but the Drow Ranger gives you that attack range, so you don't need to be as close as you should. So now the Blink Dagger is picked up for the Sand King, and that should be an opportunity for you, Apache, potentially, and the side of Neon. The question is, where do they want to take this? Top, like you want to kill this more yeah he's not showing i think he has a good understanding that there is potentially sanking without a, with the blink dagger because he's missing from the map the prize is mine yeah, i guess it just comes down to if you get that kill on the morphling even worth it to make the move up there right now they're bottom like if they can get a kill or two draw ranger deals a ton of damage with her marksmanship trying to bait a bit but they know something is up. Yopaj, he did not show for a very long time. Nice. You can see play hard, collecting XP on the mid lane. Like, it's easy to predict these kind of moves, especially with the mid sanking. Burrow strike, fire snap, cookie. Uh, 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 so they get nothing out of this blink attack. reveal. <laughs> Radiant structures now the awesome. smoke maybe even doubling back. Off the thought that Execration may think that Yopaj is left now that he revealed that Blink Dagger didn't get anything from it. Blink Brutal Strike empty center. More when he's actually coming down here. Nico ends up dead, just barely silence out of the Morphling. And they've got the sweep. They need another Burrow Strike. They're holding out on it. Now the wave going forward. This might turn around. They've got the Morph into the same thing. The Burrow Strike comes out. Hatsumi's dead. Adaptive Strike onto the Earth Spirit. They get the kill on BDZ, but it looks like they may lose play hard. Roll onto the other side of the river and. He's out. He will get out, but uh, they lose Draw Ranger, so that's a pretty big deal. Unfortunately for them, they needed a second, a second and a half to be able to stun Morphling and just take him down, because Morphling dies in three hits if they just uh, lock him down. He was sitting at uh, four or five hundred HP. Shadows take us. Another Marana ulti. Oh, oh silence. Let's see if they can survive him. First strike, first splitter with the villains, and is it enough damage? Power's getting low, power surviving, turning it around, and down goes Yopaj. It's a disaster, and they're gonna lose everyone. They're gonna well, lose Drow Ranger two times in a row, and they're gonna lose this tower. They still have Catapult. Level one, they, they needed Earth Spirit. They needed Earth Spirit to be there, but his TP was not ready. Now you tried to kill this morph twice, come out empty handed. Big advantage for execration. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Big, more like huge, because they are sitting at the 2k gold lead right now. This morphling didn't die. Pretty much free farming. Getting closer to the Manta style. Once he gets that, he will be able to get rid of those silences from the Earth Spirit. Magnetized Burrow Strike all coming through the nature's grasp on top of Yopaj as well as play hard. They get the Radiance kill there on the snap fire. Also, this time around, like, this is not a position for Marana, it's a core Marana, so she's not going to be able to move as much around the map and play with Sang as she could as position 4 in the previous game. Right. So we're not going to see that combo that often. If they want to make a rotation, I think Sanking needs to be the one playing with Marana instead of the other way around. Like, he needs to be where Marana is, to simplify it. I'm wondering what the Marana really adds at the moment. Gets the 15 damage talent, going for the Maelstrom. And now, with the Walrus Punch, Snowball in. Coming over, trying to oh, catch up. Oh, bottom lane. 
Another Charles disastrous attempt. Dyer's top tower is Epicenter under used. They Radiant's don't get the more. He attack. gets the shift off once again. They need the silence. They need a spirit vessel as well. Earth Spirit has the urn. He's going into the spirit vessel, but the timings are just going to be pretty far away. Even if you initiate on him, there's still global presence from Treant Protector, adding extra armor, extra heal. Living armor maxed out at the moment. Has a position 5 Treant, which I really like. Up for the Elder Titan, play hard over mid. So he's trying to farm up getting that Spirit Vessel, which he's not too far off the Vitality Booster, but he's still a thousand gold away from finishing it. And they're here to jump mid if anybody were to show themselves. Assuming you're going Manta, Hurricane Pike, I would expect at some point the Frost Arrow upgrade with the Axe Shard. Seeing how strong that can be. It's a good one. Yeah. Um, like reducing the heal is very nice against the Morphling, against the Triant Protector, of course, but uh, you still need real items. You need that Pike, you need Manta, you need BKP. Arrow comes in, roll out. Maybe he ends up dead. Play are in pretty deep. They got the Aether Remnant, the damage to get the kill on the return. Sweet lands on the Morphling, but doesn't need Yahweh or Nico. Arrow Strike on it too. Yopaj can't get up the stairs, but he has a Blink Dagger to lead. Just one for one trade. But Draw Ranger, she's a hero that, you know, should not be underestimated. Her damage output is insane. With the items, problem is she's a bit underleveled compared to Morphling in this game. He's about to hit level 12, while Draw Ranger just got level 9. Yeah, the experience difference between these two heroes right now is, is massive. Bounty Rune, what they can in terms of gold. We're still sitting scan. top of the net worth. Has the Manta finished going into this Ghost Scepter? So, you know, having that Manta and you're trying to land that Gust, you're trying to get that silence and work with that before he's able to get the shift off. Well, you can just use the Manta, so... Yeah, now it's going to be a lot harder to actually kill him. My waters rise. I don't think Neon really... Should make a move here. It looks like with the Moonlight Shadow, they want to make a move. But if they lose another fight, the way they have in the last few, where they go onto the Morphling and the turnaround is there, they're just putting themselves in a lot more danger. Radiant are scanning. They would like to get a pick off, and uh, yeah, Draw Ranger was showing on the mid lane, so they kind of canceled the attempt. But Have he will still go in. Nice splitter there. That's a good kill on Yahweh, but they look over at Nico. Can they get two? Snowball attempt over to the neutral camp. Now the walrus punch on a play hard. He's in too far. Arrow hits on the tree and protector. They've got the right clicks coming out from Jemuel. Yopa is trying to catch a throw. Nico's just so fast. They TP out. Snowball. On cooldown, yes. so it's still a decent trade. Like Draw Rangers getting a, a lot out of the map. Uh, they lose position four for a mid laner, which is not that bad. They force a couple of rotations. A good spell casting coming up from Neon in this one. Burrow strike into immediate ET ulti, then Earth Spirit follows. So no space. Invisibility. To use either a Yule Scepter or Dissimilate to get out of the trouble. Might even want to go on him again. They just don't have epicenter. Ooh, looking for the ether remnant. All right. Do you think Draw Ranger will find Robo? I feel like it always drops when you have a Draw Ranger. There's Radiant's items that drop almost guaranteed when you've got a couple of these heroes. I and I'm gonna Dyer's jinx it here. I, I think Ro it Robo will drop. It will. Radiant's middle Third item. Tower is under attack. Now you don't have to be that specific. But then if I pull it off, attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Don't seem that much cooler. Arrow lands out of the void spirit. And he's too fucking steady. Into the thorough strike range. Oh no! How is he going to want to damage? He can see the Mortimer's kisses, which are trying to keep him defensively safe. Because they're coming from BDZ. They weren't 
really hitting anybody on the side of Neon. They end up losing the Earth Spirit. Not the best fire staff cookie. The Earth Strike pieces from power. Now they're going to Earth Strike of their own. They'll land the Sand. They can't go on an Earth Splitter coming in. Big one. I'm not pushing to the Earth's core. I'm not sure why Balos decided to go back in. Like he, that, that's gonna be a full team. I think caught Snapfire as well. Oh man, what a huge loss for them. Like Balos decides to go in after using both Manta style, no Vape form, and uh, no Ghost Scepter. But this is where the game breaks. Like this is a huge win for Ob Neon. We're gonna see that one again. Arrow connects, and then you said Cookie right in front of them. We'll, we'll take that cookie, you know, we'll eat it, we'll munch on it. And then the Mortimer's Kisses were more placed on top of Palos than onto any of the heroes that needed to get hit. I'll take that. And it's very important that this Marana is staying at the top. Like, Marana's gonna hurt eventually. You know, this game, uh, she has Maelstrom going into BKB. Went for the damage talent as well, a bit of a different talent uh, when you go for that carry mid Marana type of uh, build. But yeah, they have no other BKB piercing abilities, like other than Overgrowth, which could cripple Marana a bit. Uh, Walrus Punch, you don't care too much about it. So should be okay, like Marana's gonna deal damage in the team fights. Yeah. Especially if she is sitting near the Draw Ranger. Just wanna say. Rogue Drop as Drop. a third item. No, second. I was gonna lie, because the, the... No, it's okay to lie. But they also... Sometimes. I think the the topper on that was they got Philosophers too. Okay, so that's a better deal. I <laughs> think Grobo for your Drow Philosopher Stone as well. You take a big fight like that. Now they're in a very good spot. Earth Spirit, Talon, Spirit Vessel, Talon. done. Also, four charges on it. So the healing coming up from the Trinity Protector are not going to be there. Morphling, Radiance of course, has Manta Style to get rid of it. But, uh, I mean, you can't have Manta Style all the time. Getting closer to his E-Blade. Radiant are scanning. Well, for both teams. Maelstrom going into EKB. Okay. Little strike damaging from the drown look for the sweep they'll land it. CGM with the kill on RR. Go immediately into the moonlight shadow with a TP up towards the top. So one up plus one. Nico, who is moving at 380 movement speed. Now 455. Not fast enough to run away from the damage that's coming out from OB Neon. CTM with they, they get enough time to react. Like, he had enough time to use the Snowball. Uh, there were a couple of shots from the Draw Ranger before Snowball was ready. Could use and blink out potentially. And now they're gonna go inside a bit. But this time around, like, it's a task that is offlane. Not having a really good time. We'll start to fall off. Same go for the Void Spirit. Like, Void Spirit also having a bit of issues staying at the middle of the pack. They know that this was coming. They go to the Mortimer's Kisses. Yo, he doesn't catch anybody, though. So now kisses are gone. Everybody's up for execration. They go right back in. Thinking about getting a pick up first before going in. Marana in trouble. Yeah, Marana alone, CTM. Getting blown up here. This time to go to Palos. That's a lot of go of Burrow Strike. Only hits out of the Sapphire. Already used more of his kisses. Epicenter was already used. The right foot is going out of the RR. Overgrowth now on the two. And they've got the kick away. Not to call big. Oh, by way harder. We're coming in. Lands on an ego as well as this Yoe. Draw Ranger in trouble. For Drow getting low. Hit with the adaptive strike that comes up from Palos. And now without the Drow, it's going to be difficult to take out the Morphling. Morphling rolling over. Looking over for the Elder. Trying to shut the Burrow Strike. Looking for the Arrow. That all connects. Vessel on the board. They get the kill without the Drow. They're chasing for more. They want Yaoi. He's out of steps. Two seconds. Can he land the arrow? Ooh, 
what he can, but on the different hero. Now he's tossed in a little bit too deep. Iku gets the snowball off, sweep out on the Earth Spirit. They will go for half play hard. They'll get the kill on the Earth Spirit. They're still trying to take out Nico, but the Spirit Red's all on him. He's ticking away, but not dead just yet. Finally falls to the bow strike of Yopai. Scatterbuzz on the John Well. Rumors who are up in the tier 2 tower. He just blinked into the sleep. sleep. Oh, hits on a two ninjas, grabs his down, and gets the damage on a Jan Well. So he'll lose the other time, but down goes Yowie as well as RR. They might even get another one. Ah. He under the tier 3 tower. The five back on the voice here to get a kill on a Yopi. That will get two. At CTM. Oh, did, this is a classic did, did, Southeast did, Asia did, Dota. BDZ, yeah, he worked them so hard. Uh, went to the high ground, lands a cookie, scatter blast, and minus armor. Coming out, damage coming out from the tier 3 towers is uh, no joke. So this is a very, very long fight. Morphling, like, he's gonna die there. Morphs, but this big vessel plus ET. Once ET gets on top of you, like, you're just not thinking. That aura is maxed out, so that means... Your base, whole base armor is gone. They're going inside a bit. You can back in. No Sand King. No way to. Dyer's top tower. We would get in unless Playard wanted to risk it. So, a fight like that, back and forth, and now that they've got the Aegis, benefits execration. Draw Ranger Bounty. needs to survive. They don't have any like real saving abilities for her. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a four staff done on EP. Has Glimmer Kate queued up, but he just finished the four staff, so that's not gonna be there for a very long time. She also decided to go for the Mantis style. Has a pike, but uh, they have a good gap Radiant closures. They have scanning. Blink Dagger on a task plus a snowball. Void Spirit can easily jump you in the back lines and Morphling. Like he, he's gonna go ham. Like he did, will not care too much about it. Like he needs to play aggressive with this Aegis E Blade. Like his target is pretty much Draw Ranger. Draw getting saved for a little bit of that fight by Play Hard. You know, it could kick in the middle of that fight. <laughs> Way from Mexico. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It's just an even game so far, but Morphling is so far ahead. He is. So he's having 4,000 more network than Draw Ranger at this moment. Also about to finish his BKB in 400 gold. I guess the Set. only problem really is just the rest of the cores aren't really farming that well. Yeah, the rest of the, look at the Void Spirit. He's the second most uh, farm core in his team. Then you have Tusk. So if they deal with the rest, like Morphling's not a problem if he respawns and has no teammates around him, especially with the Draw Ranger and the uh, being alive. Aether Remnant could kill on the play hard. Working with this Aegis, what's the plan Dyer's for Nina? To try to attack. avoid them? It's still up for Radiance 2 minutes, tower. 50 Thunder seconds. Attack. Like, Draw Ranger has Shard queued up, which is a really big one. Against the Morph, against the Triant Heal. Also, Radiance like, the damage is uh, really good. It's uh, 60 magic damage per stack and slows for 2 seconds. So potentially you could deal 420 damage. Not bad, not bad. Nice number. Radiance bottom tower is Perfect under attack. Number. Golden number. And then going into BKB, I still feel BKB is a bit better choice. Just to have something against Morphling Shotgun and then you can stand your ground and deal damage. But a lot of value from the shard, no doubt about it. So if you hit someone seven times, which is max, you can reduce their healing by 70% and add Spirit Vessel on top of it. You, like, you're actually dealing damage to yourself when you're using Shift. It's not how it works. It worked like that before with Omni Knight until it got fixed. I'll take your tribute. When can we see Omni back, please? Bounty. Gone are the days of an offlane Omni. It doesn't put too much pressure, maybe... Uh, he finds his place in the game as a position 5 once again. Ags gets close to finish on the Void Spirit. He can't even build here for play hard. We got 
couple big items being built around the horn. And we'll see what they can get. Sanking? So, Blink Bots BKB for now. Like I said, big advocate of Ags here, but he's going into the uh, Kaya Sun. Morphling adds some good heroes to morph into. Sanking for sure. Like if he gets the Aghanim Scepter, not too much value from his own team, but uh, just the Ags upgrade is going to be good with the Sanking. Uh, great with the ET. Like just have a free BKB. Radiance top tower. Bottom and Yopage. It's deleted by both his tusk as well as the move into the Sand King. So he headed down there and he ends up losing his life for it. He's dead for 50 seconds though. Buyback. He's got the shard on Drow. About to hit level 18. Cannot Sumi put out the damage. And it's also just a question of whether or not Natsumi survives in these fights. They're climbing uphill. Then Snowball will potentially get him in trouble. Yeah, he is well far away. He got the gust to land the roll. There's that cookie. Drags him over to the ancients, but the damage coming in from Natsumi on the way forward. It's all the end of They got the catch on to his Drow Ranger. One of his kisses four steps away. Is it far away? They have no here. reveal. This is why you need to have a reveal on your mid laner, like potentially if you see the chase, the, and he buys, he buys the dust straight away. He understands, you know, this Quelling Blade, this one charge of the bottle is not going to make the difference, but the dust might. He's got to have that dust. And now it's smoke time. They know there's no ages. We can see what Draw Ranger can do, but she still needs to be very careful until the BKB is up. Radiant are scanning. Positioning is crucial here. I, I don't like say. these scans that teams are Dark using. I've seen them scanning. use it uh, so many times. Like, you rarely use that scan when, like, just for the defense purposes. And now everyone's missing on the map. Like, where could they possibly be? Happy, happy star misses. Strike misses. Goes down the assembly. They look over there. That catches Eco somehow. They've got the guns to wait for him. But meanwhile, it's not that much of a bit of a lot. Soon he's going to go to the ground. Now the Earth's Twitter wham, but it's not going to be enough. So damn well, not too many guns. He goes down on the side of execration. The roll is forward. Wallace is going to clean them up. Take out CTN. They'll look over at play hard. Triple kill for Palos. Yopage can only just leap. If they get the kill there, like there's still potentially a snowball save from Tusk, so very risky play. They had the no vision whatsoever, other than the creeps providing providing them some. Yopage missing this burrow strike. Radiant like said, not sure that even attack. gives the kill. And Yahweh already onto the back lines, looking over. Who's not Sumi? He's got the overgrowth. They have tower. the catch. That's They'll fall. get the kill. Losing Drow first in this is my he, he, he's fight. Like that riches. fight was over once. Natsumi was dead. It feels like this is why I said you know a BKB Radiant seems like a much safer choice for a Drow Ranger instead of going for the, the shard. It's a it's a lot of investment. 1,400 gold when you need a BKB is definitely a big one. Radiant's top tower is like it, it's the recipe. At the, right now he would actually have BKB and they could potentially go for that one play. Yeah. So it now comes down to how you vitamize. Is that going to and your chances of winning this game. Can he get the BKB quick enough where this time's out with the next Roche? Shadows, so if they yes. win a fight with the next BKB, if they get it in time, or with that BKB, if they get it in time, then they can take the Roche. That could be massive. Completely turn the game, but it comes down now to... Do yes, you have the time luckily for, for them, Roshan, max respawn time, full three minutes. So she's going to have enough time to actually farm a BKB in the next minute. Marana's stealing a lot of those easy... Okay, she she stopped. A lot of those camps. Marana very maneuverable as a hero, but they need to give farm priority to Draw Ranger at the moment. Marana wants the shard. A leap. One extra leap. 
charge and the crits on the leap plus the leap attack speed level 15 talent it's gonna be a good one you know nothing too serious at the moment but uh, still decent amount of damage also wants to get a manta style to be able to get rid of the most likely overgrowth and those silences from the void with axe but potentially like you can dodge the shotgun from morphling so TV finish for Natsumi going Scotty next. That's a lot of gold away. But slow down the game a little bit. Take the Roche. Neon feel back in it. Lose a fight. Execration. Take the Roche. I think the game ends. You got a short leash if you're Neon. It's always like that when you have Morphling on the opposite side. Where you take one bad fight, he cleans them up and so much damage coming out from this hero if you have no buybacks if you invested everything in the items so sanking sanj done a bit of status resistance now void spirit this is a big item for him eon disc they have no way of dispelling it up in the air, Natsumi's been caught. Palace with the right quick swoop step out of the low ground, but the wave form to follow. They'll get the kill to Aura, but they end up losing Natsumi. They'll take down CTM. Morphing into the Zant King, the Burrow Strike onto Yopai will be the kill. Palace with the triple once again. Ether Renning catches Jean Well, he's on the run. And he's gonna lose the gem. He will die, drop the gem. And this will not feel good for Neon. And Roche is up in 24. <laughs> They have ways of buffing up Morph, there is Mech, there is this Solar Crest, Living Armor. Morphling just seems unkillable. I don't think they have enough to bring him down from 100 to 0, potentially with the Burrow Strike into Arrow combo. But there is a Snowball save potential, Living Armor on top of him. Um, this Morph is just getting out of control. Poor God. Up to that level 25. Tier 3, that'll go down. They're not even taking Roche. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. This is not for Neon, but execration playing superbly well. Yeah, they see this uh, more Radiant's even without getting the shift attack. off. It's just not enough. Like there's Radiant's an overgrowth that gets it from very far away. Pretty chaotic fight for Obi Neon. Ship that entire time. Keep the remnant. Locks up the play hard, and they've got the Astro Spirit wait for him while we punch him. John Simi, he's in trouble. Overgrowth, he's dead. He's dead. They've got the kill. I think they, they might fall in. Play hard, he's dead as well. Fly back on the Earth Spirit. The Earth Spirit comes in as well as the Burst Rick and the Epicenter. Good, the Snowball Sam. But the Death Snowball Sam will be keeping him by Yopaz. The Zone Rick is going to be enough to keep him on the scale on the Yowie. Balloons play hard again. Yeah, well, trying to do the damage. The arrow avoided. Maybe would have been enough to take up the Aegis from the hands of Palos, but it's just the Aegis, and well, they'll call GG. Yeah, uh, they understand, you know, this Morphling is out of control. He gets one extra item. He's sitting at 7,000 gold at the moment. If he gets Satanic, it's just...